just like the one you just saw. One of, the things, one of the things I learned early on as a director, if you want great stunts, then you hire the best stunt team and the best stunt coordinator around. That, ladies and gentlemen, is this man, Mr. Logan Dole. Hey, how are you doing, everybody? Good to see you, folks. Very nice Thank you. That's kind of you. Really, really nice. Uh, could you tell our guests what a stunt coordinator does? At least well, a little bit. All right, a little bit. Well, for the most part, it's my job out here to choreograph a lot of the action that you've seen, but more importantly, here to make sure that we film it all as safely as possible. Oh, that actually is a really important point. Safety is our number one priority. Yeah, absolutely, it's critical. These guys make it look easy out here, but I promise you there's a lot of planning. And, of course, a lot of training that goes into what we do, that's for sure. And I'm going to go help out. Very, very true. You go do what you need to do. Well, you know what? We do have some playback. You want to check that out? I sure do. Can I give video your assist cameras with me? Jeremy, let's roll videos. This one through eight for Christmas. All right, good place to start right here. I should mention that the black and white images that you see on the big screen, those are actually a video image of what our film cameras see. We call that video assist. It helps us preview what we've shot before the film is actually developed. Now, notice how we frame the action right there. If we keep the camera angle nice and low, it makes the cars look like they're traveling even faster than they actually are. It's a handy trick we use from time to time, especially in bad weather, which I. What do we got the opposite of right now? I mean, how beautiful is this? Beautiful today. Uh, welcome to Florida on right. Christmas Eve. Uh, can I get all of the ramp shots, please? Sure. Let's roll the ramp shots. All angles, please. Here. There we go. And a nice tight ISO on the hero approaching the ramp, then up and over. That actually is from the camera truck I was riding on right there. You're going to see it one more time. Nice. Up and over, and then we'll go back down onto the deck. Even from above, we'll stay on that final pursuit car right here. So that way we can go right down the barrel of the gun. Really, really nice. A little extra shot right there of the split car. Off it goes. You can see how that happened in slow mo here. We're going to mount the camera on the dashboard of the pursuit car, following the hero car up and over the ramp. Then another shot from underneath. Can I get straight on the pause mid jump? Got it. Let's go ahead and freeze that jump, please, on camera four. Straight on the shot. And boom! That's what I'm talking about. Logan, very special automobile right there. Yeah, it is a pretty special car, guys, and pretty unique in its design. We actually built our hero car specifically for this production, and we did build the transmission with four forward gears, which is pretty normal on a car, but we also included four gears of reverse, so we can really hit some higher speeds going back as well. Something else a little bit different on the car is where we put the motor. And you're not going to find it in the front. It's not in the back either. We mount it right behind the driver. And the reason for this is pretty simple. It just balances out the car, which gives it better stability and maneuverability on all these tight turns out here. You know, speaking of tight, not exactly a luxury ride in there, is it? No luxury whatsoever. That is not Santa Slave by any means. But I tell you what, we're still setting up for the next scene. What do you see we've got the hero for an intro? Even better. I love awesome. that. Hero of the set. Sweet. Hero, we need you out of the set, please. Front off set. Team hitting the marks, nice speeds, good entrance, doing what he's supposed to. It's what he does in his sleep for crying out loud, right? Yeah, it is. Hey, why don't you look at the camera and just tell everybody how you do the jump backwards? Go ahead, Eduardo. Backwards, yes. The backwards jump. It just happened, yes, guys. He's apparently shy. I'm going to let you in on a little movie making secret. This unique one of a kind of car, it has a twin in there. Check it out. reverse at high speeds, of course, or jump a car backwards for that matter. So what we did is we had a duplicate car built. Now this is exact in every detail. As f one your car right over here, except for one tiny modification. It's built so our driver faces out the back. <laughs> we even built a reverse hero so it looks like he's facing out the front. And by luck, I'm backwards. Another mystery wow. solved. Ladies and gentlemen, our reverse hero is Chance Morris. cars mid-take like that without you noticing? Well, we're going to show you that secret right now with True Tilt. Yes, we are. Jeremy, let's roll that backstage footage, please. Let me bubble, by the way. There you go, guys. You can see right up here on the big screen, just as our first hero, Eduardo, drives behind the set. Our reverse hero, Chance, he's waiting in position to take over. Think of the two cars like runners in a relay race, passing the baton. When one car clears, the next car's ready to take over without missing a beat. That's right. Hit it, guys. Right. Can we go this? 
once, maybe check it twice. Yeah, good idea. All right. Uh, looks like it's going to take our crew a few more minutes to set up for this next scene, but that's all right. Because the guys who moved were able to put together a little tribute to one of the most beloved cars of all time. That's right, they did. Yeah, right? He's one of the greatest space guys in movie history. I love this. He's a legend. He is a legend, Trudy. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's watch him. The living legend, Lightning McQueen. Run! See you later! Ah. 